the British Parliament rejected the original Brexit deal hammered out by Prime Minister Theresa May and EU leaders. Barnier said there was misunderstanding over the proposed backstop deal. Limiting it in time or introducing a unilateral exit clause would call into question its credibility, the EU's top Brexit negotiator insisted. The backstop will end either when we have a global agreement on the future relationship, or a specific agreement with Ireland, he said, assuring it was never the wish to bind Britain to European trade rules indefinitely. Meetings next week Barnier said he would Britain's Brexit Minister Stephen Barclay and Attorney General Geoffrey Cox next week to discuss options. There is a way that the British Parliament could vote between now and March 12. With these guarantees of our good faith, it will be up to them to fulfill their responsibilities, Barnier said. In 2017, Britain invoked Article 50 of EU law, triggering a two year countdown to Brexit that ends at 11 pm. 23 o'clock GMT, on March 29th. The country is on course to leave without an agreement after British MPs in January overwhelmingly rejected the divorce deal May struck with the EU late last year. The embattled leader is now seeking changes to the pact which she hopes will be enough to get it through Parliament by March 12. In a revised strategy unveiled this week, May vowed that if her deal is rejected, Lawmakers will vote in the following days on whether to leave without a deal or delay Brexit. But European leaders have warned any postponement would come with conditions. Barnier suggested a short delay could be acceptable. The European institutions will do whatever is necessary on their side but the British have told us in the past that they will need two months to ratify the deal. It would then require a simple technical extension. While Britain is yet to request a delay, I don't think there would be any objections in principle from the other 27 EU nations, Barnier said. However, any delay must serve to solve a problem, not merely to postpone it and remain at an impasse.